Hello guys, this is Magix Ray, and I'm showing you some resolution comparisons between native 1440p versus native PS2. I will also be doing some frame rate testing and show you guys the best settings for Spyro, a hero's tale. We are using large frame buffer, a custom resolution of 2560x1440p, 1440p native, 16 times the nasotrophic filtering, where mapping is on automatic, 4 direct 3D recommended, and we are using uh, 16 times MSAA, and in the hacks we are using alpha with 16 times MSAA at 1440p, it costs 1.3 gigabytes of video RAM, which is awfully cheap. And in alpha, we are using this because the lights are very aggressive. They're very, very bright and they're emulated incorrectly and you have to turn this on to remotely fix it. It doesn't fix it entirely, but it does make it a lot better, which I will show very soon. We are using texture filtering of display and FXAA shader. We are using bilinear forced and Direct3D 11 hardware. Now in emulation settings, we are using MTVU. You can play this game with it off and it runs really, really well. I tried that for myself and uh, I am turning it on for the video experience. And um, I could have it off and it would run the same speed either way, but with it on, the game runs at a way above full speed, which is good. But if you have more than three cores, I have six cores, recommend it for uh, extra uh, speed. Um, that's about it. Now let's check out this. So the game targets 512 by 448, and the game runs at 60 frames. Now this game's really well optimized on the PCSX2, well above 60 frames per second, so it's quite surprising that it. Uh, it wants to behave like that, but it is behaving really well. Now, as you see, I am on native PS2. You can see that the game has a lot of shimmering. It is very, very blurry. If you look at the ground at oblique angles, you can see that the texture filtering seems to be bilinear. Maybe trilinear, but I'm going to say bilinear. Now, you see those lights up there I mentioned earlier? If I go to native 1440p, as you see, the lights pretty much don't exist. It's a lot worse if you have the hack off but it looks better than on when it's instead of being off. Now, as I said, this game targets 60 frames per second, but also there are some elements in the game, like the water that run at half the rate, if not less than half the rate. And uh, that's not much of a problem at all. Now, if I press start, you can see there are some broken sprites right there. And it unfortunately affects both software mode and hardware mode so if you played this game on the real hardware you probably already saw this unless if it's still an emulation problem or PCSX2 problem on even on native PS2 but uh, yeah this game has a ton of broken sprites go back to native PS uh, 1440p you can see there are some broken sprites there some hardware exclusive exclusive ones if not just at a higher resolution some small ones there now you can see the X right there it looks very very blurry at 1440p but it looks a lot worse at native PS2. You upscale it, it looks uh, just a bit clearer and also the text is not that bad. I am using bilinear force because all the HUDs remain blocky but if you turn on bilinear PS2 these text HUDs here actually look better, looks um, sharper but all the other elements like this for example you can see that um, the HUD elements right here it's uh, very blurry but if you go bilinear PS2 it would be remaining blocky and it would look very it looks sharper, but um, just unfortunately blocky and just does not upscale really well at 1440p to this day. Now if I go to native PS2, you can see right here that it looks a lot blurry. I want to show you guys a quick example. Just run over here. Whoops. Jump. Now there's a sign right there. You can't unfortunately read it at native PS2 because it's the pixel count density is just too low. So if I go to native 1440p, you can see that it says money bags. It looks a lot clearer at higher resolutions. If you look at money bags himself at native PS2, you can barely see uh, his face at all. Like his eyes are pretty much non-existent. Like a few pixels, you can see the, the his eyes. And if you go to native 1440p, you can see that there's a lot more pixels. So I can see his eyes better, or everyone can see his eyes better at this resolution, which is really, really nice. Now this 3D element right here, HUD element, is rendered at higher resolution because it's 3D. Um, and that's really good. If I go and change to native 1440p, you can see that there's the light source right there. It looks better at 
that, but if you go to native 1440p again, it still looks pretty good actually. Yeah, it looks ironically good because it's not supposed to be looking like that. But anyway, that's basically about it. Full speed, it looks really, really nice at 1440p, and that's basically it. Thank you guys for watching.